Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another Back for Blood achievement guide for you all. So for this achievement guide, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys how to end up getting Jukebox Hero. This is the achievement for not letting the jukebox actually get broken when you're doing the finale ballroom blitz. So when you're playing this, you're going to want to do a couple of things that I'm going to list throughout the video. So that way you can not only end up having the jukebox not break on you, but just so also that way you can be able to end up enjoying the music and being able to enjoy the experience just on the map in general. If you guys at the end also enjoy, by the way, I tremendously appreciate if you guys could drop a like. I would just appreciate that at the end before we take off because I know you guys are going to be just wanting to do this achievement just straight away. So I just thought I'd mention at the beginning but yeah guys let's discuss how to end up getting jukebox hero so of course i'm going to recommend that you end up doing this with your friends however though i do believe in this gameplay it was just me and my friend jake but if you end up having friends it would be the definitely the best way to do so because then that way you can be able to end up manipulating the spawns and that way you can also be able to make sure that you guys are guarding each other's backs and I just really recommend just having communication. That is really going to be key to this. Although you can end up doing this by yourself or with like one person if you so much choose to. Now, this is what I'm going to recommend to you guys. There's a couple things that are related to the RNG. But if you can get these things, I highly recommend that you do so. Number one, I'm going to recommend that you can end up either getting a shotgun or some sort of close range weapon. If you can end up getting a shotgun, an SMG or like an assault rifle, that would be best. You don't want LMGs, you don't want sniper rifles, and you don't want any of those other sort of slow heavy guns. You're going to be needing to be on this jukebox 24-7, like on top of the thing. So you want to make sure you definitely have that. The second thing that I also want to mention to you guys is that of all the characters that you possibly could pick, from me and Jake's experience, what we ended up finding to be the best was mom first of all because mom has instant revise which is huge because you probably will be going down a lot just by playing on the recruit difficulty i also end up recommending the fact that you can end up picking holly she can end up sponging bullets and that makes us that way she can stay on the jukebox longer that's what jake ended up picking doc so that way you can end up healing it just so happens that we ended up having the random ending up doing it and then we also ended up having hoffman because hoffman has the ability to have extra offensive slots which is really great for the maltovs that you have at the bar now, this is what I'm also going to recommend to you guys as well, is that as one last thing, if you guys can end up trying to get the offensive item upgrades, such as for the barbed wire or the frag grenades or something like that, especially the barbed wire, because I was actually going to recommend that you guys going to get the barbed wire, because the barbed wire is huge and it's going to benefit you massively. Just being able to end up putting the barbed wire all around you is going to slow down the normal zombies and basically make it so that way you only have to end up dealing with the specials. Because when you upgrade barbed wire, it gets bigger and covers more of a surface area. And if you have everybody doing this, then you can essentially be able to cover down the whole entire restaurant. It's extremely helpful. You most certainly are going to want barbed wire, especially if you can have extra per your slot. If you can have like a green or a blue level, like let's say that you've been doing this throughout the campaign. Let's say you've been playing uh, since Evansburg. If you can end up having it like at a blue or a purple level and have like three slots each, that is going to be really, really huge for you. And then as for card builds, I know not everybody has every single card. I don't necessarily expect you guys to have every single card by now and unlock the entire supply stream. So what I would just recommend is just make the card decks the best you can. Uh, Jake ended up rocking a melee build and just meleeed one half of the restaurant, which did really work a lot well for us. And then I just made a really stable build of just kind of a little bit of everything. And then for the randoms, I have no idea, but you can end up playing this by ear as you wish. So now this is what I'm going to recommend to you what we actually did inside of the restaurant. So you want to open up everything and have at least one person have a toolkit to end up unlocking the toolkit room. The reason why is because you end up getting access to a first aid cabinet and also as well as just that the first aid cabinet in general is located in a one-way room, which is really, really good for camping if you need to, like if you need to retreat for a second. Although I don't recommend doing it all the time, I primarily just recommend just standing in the barbed wire on the jukebox and or at the uh, bar itself and just ch yeah, just keep chucking Molotovs at everything. Now, you would end up kind of like saying that this is a little bit silly. You wouldn't want to be like out in front of the zombies. But trust me, if you end up leaving the jukebox alone for even the smallest bit of seconds, it's going to end up breaking on you. And if it breaks, it has to end up resetting. And once it resets, the achievement is null and void. You have to start all over. Luckily, you can do this multiple times per game. Like, for example, you don't have to go back to the lobby and then reset completely. If you just mess up your attempt, you just have to die and reset. Uh, but I do just want to let you guys know that it's not worth it trying to retreat. You know, it's just better just to go down instead. 
So really the last little bit of advice that I can recommend to you guys at this point, other than communication and all the setup and stuff that I, I mentioned, is just basically just have patience. This took me and Jake about an hour, uh, me and him together, this play session that you're watching. Jake got just, just on accident before one time, and I got it only after an hour playing with him. I'm pretty sure if you guys did a couple bits of like practice here and there by default, you guys probably can do it. It probably would end up working out the most in your favor. Plus, also, you guys can juggle. I don't know if you knew this, but you can also juggle, like, offensive and medkit items all the way over to the restaurant. And that way you can end up being able to have extra stuff. Because you can actually grab them through the fence if you put them at the very, very edge of the fence. And it will just face through the wall. Which is how me and the randoms and Jake were able to do this, pretty much. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it here for today's video. It's just a little short guide on an achievement that I think you guys may or may not have. So I thought this would be helpful and something that can end up serving you guys to be able to end up achieving grinding just like you would in like Left 4 Dead, for example. I hope you guys end up enjoying today's video, and if you did, please consider dropping a like, comment, and subscribe, and all that beautiful stuff. If you would like to financially support the channel, I would also definitely appreciate if you guys could go check out my Patreon. It's always linked down below in all my YouTube video descriptions. Or you guys could use supporter creator code BLACKNINJA797 all caps in the Fortnite Epic Games item shops because Epic is my very first sponsor and they're sponsoring today's video, so shout out to Epic Games. But yeah, guys, I hope you end up enjoying seeing another YouTube video from the most unique YouTuber you guys are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace out. Hey, meme lords. Jesus here. And you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe, too. Or, the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it too. And, give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom!